Good morning, everyone. I'm going to show you how I do my makeup from the start to the finish. So I start with a clean face, moisturize, let the moisturizer sit for at least 10 minutes. And then after that, the very first thing that I do is I use this setting spray. This is the Saint setting spray. I use it before I put my makeup on, after I'm done applying all of my makeup to set it. So here we go. Just a few sprays, let it dry. So the very next thing that I do is prime my eyelids to put a little bit of eyeshadow on. I'm going to try to stick to only one brush. This one's dirty and I'm going to show you how I clean it. Um, I have this Saint brush cleaner. Ignore the dirty bottle that's rolling around in the makeup bag. Anyway, this can be dirty. This can't be dirty. If you apply your makeup with dirty brushes, you're putting all that bacteria, grime, and used makeup back on your face, which is going to give you breakouts. It's going to cause your makeup not to look even. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean this brush. I am in the bathroom at my house, so we have okay lighting at best. So you take this spray. You're gonna spray it onto a paper towel or a washcloth, your preference. And I'm gonna swirl. You see how the paper towel is getting yucky and dirty? Well, all of that would have gone back on your face if you didn't clean it. The awesome thing is there's no downtime. This is now ready. Okay, so I also need to clean the other side which is this side. This is an old brush. This is about a three-year-old brush that is in perfectly good condition. If you clean your brushes, they will last you forever. So some more spray here. And I'm lifting it so I can show you. Normally I just do it on the counter. But I'm swirling, swirling, swirling. This cleans and sanitizes all in one step. And it doesn't stay wet. You can use it immediately. But look at that. And I'm not done. I could do it again. I clean them about once a week. Or right before I use them again because it's so easy with this brush cleaner that brush cleaner is I think $32 a bottle it will last you several months a few months maybe not several but look at how this paper towel is so dirty if I wouldn't have cleaned it I would have put all of that back on my face so clean your brushes please your makeup will look so much better see now that's ready to go okay now we can start so I have a bunch of palettes but this is one that has everything that I can do my entire face with. It has two layers. It has that in the first layer, this in the second layer. So again, prime my eyelids. I use my lightest highlight shade to prime my eyelids. This is just to help the eyeshadow stick on better and last longer throughout the day. So I just kind of pat it all over the entire lid. I'm getting the tiniest bit. I got it in my eyebrows. That's not what I wanted. But hey, it happens. Okay, so now they're ready to go. And I can put a little bit of eyeshadow on. So in this palette, I have blushes, eyeshadows, face colors. I have like some very neutral eyeshadows, and this is my eyeliner. So I'm going to take this shade, and I'm going to pat it on top of what I just put there. Once I'm done, I can provide you with all the links, the colors, whatever you want to know, if you want to know anything once I'm done. But again, I'm gonna take this color, same brush that I just put the primer on with, and I'm just gonna pat it on there. You can tap off the excess before you put it on so you don't get any fallout. I do my eyeshadow first so I don't have to worry about fallout getting under my eyes. I already have dark circles as you can see. You're going to see those magically disappear. Now I'm gonna take this lighter shade, which I do know is called Cupcake. Just put it up here. Again, I'm using the same brush I used for my face. Do you have to? No, is it easier? Yes, is it faster? Yes, I'm trying to show you how easy and versatile these products are from the brushes to the makeup to the cleaners to everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, I should have done it the other way, but anyway, I was going to show you how to use bronzer on your eyelids, but I'll do that tomorrow. This color here, the dark, so now I'm going to take this color called Coco, same brush, just tap some in there, and I'm going to go here in the crease in the corner with my eye open and just kind of wiggle it around in there, and that looks scary, but it's not going to stay like that, and that's okay. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. This is just to add a little bit of depth and dimension. I have hooded eyes, so it's better if you apply your eyeshadow with your eye open. There, I'm done, just kidding. Um, now I'm gonna blend it with the same brush. 
as much as I can. You can take the fluffy side and kind of get that off, like the excess. And yes, you can close your eyes to blend so you can see where it lands and where you might need a little bit more down there. But you just take a darker color, it doesn't have to be the, this color, it could be any color. And just sort of move it around in there. You can use your fingers. See, yeah, I want to consider myself an eyeshadow expert or a makeup expert. I just know what works for me and I know that I can help you find what works for you. It's hard to see in the camera. Use my mirror. I'm just trying to blend it a little bit better. Okay, now I'm gonna take this shimmery one here with my fingers so that I can get it a little more pigmented. Just slap it on there. If you were to apply this with the brush, you wouldn't get as much of a shimmer. Okay, so I do have to use a different brush for the eyeliner. I'm gonna use this one that has a flat end and a little pointed end. As you can see, it's soiled as well. So I'm gonna use the same cleaner to do the same thing to clean this brush. See, it's dirty, yucky. You can tell it's the one I use for my eyeliner and my lip liner. All clean. Okay, so I'm gonna dip it into this cream eyeliner called Black Friday. Gonna tap it in there. Now I have like mature lids that are more wrinkly, so it's hard to use pencil liners and liquid eyeliner. So I just like this cream that I pat in there, and I'm gonna put an eyeshadow over the top of it to set it. I am not using a filter of any kind. Um, I'm sure you can tell. So I applied the eyeliner, now I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna take this darker color that you can see is almost gone. I think this one's called Coal. And I'm just gonna pat it over what I just put. It's gonna just deepen that and set it since it's a cream. It will last on its own, but if you want it to last longer, just put a little bit of powder on top of it. Okay, eyes are done. Mascara goes on very last. I am not like a perfectionist or anything, so don't think, oh, that's not perfect because I don't care. I just want to look awake. So now, next thing I'm going to do are these dark circles. So I'm going to go back with the same brush, same palette. I am going to use a highlight color called Mango. This mango uh, color can be used as someone's main foundation shade, but all of this together is your foundation because nothing really overlaps. So just take look, a tiny little bit and I'm going to pat it. I'm not going to swipe it because my skin is not as smooth as it used to be and less is more. So this lighting in here is not doing this procedure justice, but when I show you in the better lighting, you'll understand what is happening here. This brush is called the blend brush. All of our brushes are double-ended and you can use this. It's going to give me a light coverage all over my face. So now that I've done under my eyes and I know you're saying they still look dark, it's the lighting, it's the shadows that are being casted in here. And you want, you want a little bit of that darkness under your eye in order to look natural. You don't want it to be super white and pasty and cakey. And if you do, I can show you how to do that, but that's just not how I do it, okay? It is possible to achieve that look as well with these products. Next, I am going to go with my contour. And I'm going to take this fluffy side, just dip it in here. I'm going to start with my forehead. Now, depending on your forehead and the shape of it will depend on where you place your contour. I just kind of go across and down here. to set up the other light so you can see and then that light is automatic and it clicks on and off depending on how much I move okay so next I'm going to contour my cheeks I just go a little bit above my cheekbone and we do have a brush specific for contour but I'm trying to show you that you can do this with all one brush and it will still look flawless you also want to do your jaw I take it up a little this way. If 
then you want to get the waddle down here, right? And you always blend your jaw contour down into your neck. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna do the nose a little bit. You wanna get this as close as possible or your nose will look wider and just go around the bulb here. Okay, I also will contour a little under my lip, a little above my lip. If you're looking at me and saying, no, I'm just doing it like whatever, it's because you can do it like whatever and it comes out so perfectly. Next, I'm going to take that same color I primed my eyelids with. I'm gonna brighten the center of my face. So I'm gonna put some here in the corner of my eye, this corner of my eye. I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger and tap a little bit into the bridge of my nose, which that was a little wider than I wanted to be, but I'll show you how to fix it here. And that's about it. So now using the same end of the brush, I'm gonna take what's called my main highlight shade, which is this darker one. This one's called Sandy. And I'm just gonna kind of dot it on everywhere that I want it, which is everywhere I don't have anything else. And I'll be blending it. Okay, so it's all applied now, and now I'm gonna take the, now, now, <laughs> I'm gonna take the fluffy side and just blend, but look. So the contour that I applied has coverage built into it. The brighter highlight color has coverage built into it. The concealer and the main shade all have coverage built into them. They're made to work together to create one layer of skin looking makeup. Now here I focus on making those scars look a little less visible, but you can't erase them, they're scars. I've learned to embrace them. With this brush, it's better if you swirl, but I have more mature skin, so I'm used to dabbing and tapping. I will swirl in certain areas just to blend it a little more seamlessly. But see how it's just so easy. Okay, so with the smaller end, I do the eyes. This, I use to clean the eyeshadow when it goes too low, just to get it out of the way. See how it lifts your eye instead of making it look droopy? You young girls will not have that problem, but us more mature women will. So see how that made my nose look wider and brighter? I don't want that, so I'm gonna dip my finger into the contour, rub them together. I'm gonna get real close there and just clean it up. And problem solved okay so there it is all blended out I know my nose looks a little red right now for me rubbing on it I'm going to add a little more contour on my cheek just because I like it a little more accentuated and next I'm going to show you how bronzer changes this whole look and I do set it with powder at the very end okay so bronzer I have this belt it's called Bella bronzer I'm gonna take it Okay, so bronzer, I've got it here, and I'm just going to put it all over my face where the sun would normally warm you up. See it already? It looks totally different and warm. A lot of people are afraid of bronzer because they're like, oh, I don't want to look too dark. I love it because it gives me extra depth. I'm very pale and light-skinned, and... There's nothing wrong with that, but I just like to look a little warmer and I go above my contour. You kind of, some people explain it like doing a three on your face like this. And that's pretty much how you do it. But honestly, you can put it wherever you want it. But do you see the difference already? Leave this, this area, the center of your face needs to, needs to remain bright. And then I put it down here too. And key bring it down here as i was saying don't forget about your neck because if you're light like me and you're doing bronzer especially heavy bronzer then your neck's not going to be the same color and go under here and a little bit in the back if you wear your hair up i'm still using the same brush you guys because i don't know what that is i'm seeing the dermatologist soon like a little head growing out of my neck there you go. See? 
you can kind of see the three here but honestly you can put it wherever you want I use it as my eyeshadow sometimes that's what I intended to show you but I got carried away so now I'm going to add a little bit of what we call lip and cheek color I'm going to use the same color on my cheeks on my lips and then I'm going to set with powder and we're done so in my palette, I have these two natural looking blush colors. I'm going to put this one on first. I think it's called Ibiza. And I don't think we sell that one anymore, but there's some that are similar. And I'm not gonna put my blush here like I used to in my 20s because that is going to make my cheeks look more droopy, which I don't want. So instead I'm gonna go up along my bronzer and contour to make it look like it's lifting. I do go here. I just don't, I try not to go down here. And then with this glossier color, I'm just gonna dust here. Okay, there's that. Now with the other end of my brush, I can clean up where I went too low. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of lip liner so I can put those same colors on my lips so you can see how they work for your cheeks and your lips. You can also put them on your eyes. I'm going to use the same brush that I used my eyeliner with, but I'm going to clean this end off again because I don't want black lip liner. Some of you might like that, but I don't. Okay, it's clean and ready to go. I'm going to clean the other end too because I'm going to use that to line my cupid's bow. That one's pretty much clean already. We have a lip liner that is called Suede, but honestly, you can lip line with the same color. You can lip line with contour. You can lip line with whatever you want. I'm going to take this flat end, dip it into this Suede lip liner, which you can also use as a lipstick. And I'm just going to line my lips. I'm not super careful about it because I'm going to... have to be perfect because I want to make them look a little bigger then I take the same color that I primed my eyelids and that's in the center of my face it's so hard to see and I do the cupid's bow usually a little nicer than that but I'm gonna do that anyway so this just gives you a little bit of a pout see then I'm gonna take this flat end I'm going to go first into this color that I applied on my cheeks first. Now, you don't have to do this. I'm doing it to show you the versatility. You can also add any of these products to what you already use. Now, if you're wondering why it's so quiet, it's because I'm alone. I'm is at the gym and AJ's at volleyball practice. They're starting a boys volleyball team at school this year, so I'm excited about that. And now just to add a little bit of gloss, I'm gonna take this other color, just put it on top a little. Ta-da! Now, I'm done applying all my creams and everything, so I'm gonna spray one last time. Let that dry and I'm going to use this air sponge powder to set. Now I took a little bit longer to explain and show you but usually with my eyes and my face it doesn't take me more than 15 minutes to finish. I'm gonna add a little bit of dark eyeshadow in the corners, my mascara, and call it a day. I will link, um, I'll put the link to my website if you want to know the specific colors that I use just All right, so I'll po post pictures later. They ended practice a little early, so I have to leave and go get my son. But all I have left is to put on my mascara. I'll, I'll show you pictures, and uh, we'll leave the link. Reach out. I can color match you. But look at your pictures. If your face is wider than your neck or if your face is super wide and flat, you're not using the right products and you're not using the right color. Let me help you.